from the end user perspective to science behind it and then to manufacturing process and also to user experience. People do not know that the engineer has to go through all this process to also make sure that the product they are manufacturing, the product they are designing are already to solve human problems. Optics is invades almost every field. We have, uh, of course, in the medical field, uh, the use of optics is unbelievable in terms of the, the use of cameras for research and also for actual um, medical procedures. My area is so multidisciplinary, so I like mostly that one because uh, you are not focusing in just one area. I'm focusing on biology, electrical, or computer area, and as an engineer, I can think multifunctional. In the area of nanotechnology, I think there's been such tremendous opportunity in working in regimes of the ultra small and uh, new technologies that are supported by uh, the nano field. Uh, my favorite part of being an engineer is you actually get to see the thing that you're working on and then you see the results of it, especially when you work on space telescopes because um, you actually get to be part of the building of it and then you get to see the data coming down. I like the discovery process but wanted to have broader impacts with my work and um, transition to working uh, with Capitol Hill staffers and with federal agencies in DC and it's really exciting to be able to support science and engineering from a policy standpoint. Uh, my interest continues to be trying to increase the numbers of women and minorities who are doing optical science and engineering and our related fields, certainly physics, STEM, uh, and, um, and mathematics. Engineers are as contributing to uh, fields of uh, activity as our scientists. We're all working together. I am an engineer. I'm a physicist and I train engineers. I'm an engineer. I'm an advocate for engineers. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer.